When it comes to sales and being in sales, what are some movies that salespeople can watch to get better at their craft besides Tommy Boy, Eight Mile, and then you know, you've know got Wolf of Wall Street and Glen Gary, Glen Ross? I'm gonna give you one from the 80s and 90s you may not have thought of. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Honolulu, Oahu on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. Now, Steve Martin in the, in the 90s was in this movie called Roxanne, and it was the newer version of the book Serrano de Bergerac. And so, check this out. Steve Martin's character had a nose that was like four inches long. It was huge. So Steve Martin's character's in a bar. And he's walking through the bar, getting ready to leave. And one of the patrons goes, hey, big nose, get out of here. And so Steve Martin goes, hey, that was really creative of you. You know, I wish you could come up with more content besides, hey, big nose. And so here's what happened. They, they got into the, the situation where it was a contest. They got into the situation where it was a battle. So Steve says, hey, throw a dart and however many numbers you hit on the dartboard is how many objections I'm gonna overcome or how many items I'm gonna overcome or how many ways I'm gonna be creative of dealing with, hey, big nose. So, guy throws a dart, hits 20. Guy throws a dart, hits 20. Guy throws a dart, hits 20. Turns out the guy's a dart champion. Now, you're like, Scott, gosh dang it, get to it. What does that have to do with me and sales? And I'm gonna say everything. Okay, now depending upon your industry, depending upon your service, there's typically anywhere between one and three objections that your buyers have, but most salespeople don't know how to deal with them. So let's just say that you meet with a buyer and they're like, hey, Mr. Sales Guy, hey, sales chick, hey, sales bro, here's the thing. I think it costs too much. Your price is too high, right? Well, you gotta be creative. You gotta be able to go around that dartboard. And hopefully, if you did your job as a salesperson, you overcame that objection way before it happened. So like in the timeline of sales, if you know a buyer's typically gonna talk to you about price over here, you got to talk about it way up front. That's priming. That's priming. You want a good movie on that too? You should check out Focus from 2015 with Will Smith and the gambling scene. There you go. That's a, that's a good scene too. But like most salespeople can't overcome one singular objection, objection, let alone two or three. Now here's what you need to know is when you meet with a buyer and they give you one objection, that's usually not the real one that they're struggling with. That's the smoke screen. So most salespeople will go, oh yes, Mr. Buyer, Mrs. Buyer, I'll definitely give you a discount on your price. And then they go, guess what? I gotta think about it. It's because they, they're not quite sure of that's what's going on. So you gotta be like Steve Martin's character from the dude Serrano de Bergeac in Roxanne. They can say, hey, look, I will go all the way around the building. I'll give you 20 different ways to deal with I want to think about it. I'll give you 20 different ways to deal with, I got to get three bids. I'll give you 20 different ways to talk about, I got to, I got to talk to somebody else. I got to get meet with a significant other. I got to get information from somebody else. Really cool movie for you when it comes to looking at sales and how to be in sales and be a better salesperson. Roxanne from the late 80s, early 90s, 90s, Steve Martin. You got three things to do from here. Just pick one of them. You could subscribe, you can like the video, or you could leave a comment. If you're really cool, you want to be my favorite person of the day, select all three. Thanks for dropping by. We'll see you soon. Mahalo.